What's up guys, this is Steve for Angel at Night and it has been a while since I filmed anything, I apologise for that. I've been embroiled in doing all my coursework and my finals exams which as you can imagine takes up quite a lot of time but that is all now done so real life is kind of on the threshold which is slightly terrifying but it does mean I should be able to do more videos for you guys so I'm going to try and stick to a much more rigorous schedule so say every Wednesday I'm going to do some wallpaper videos, every weekend I'll do a sort of top app to round up and loads of other stuff in between. So that should all be sorted over the next week or so. But for now, this is gonna be a video on some wallpaper apps, so I hope you enjoy. First up, we have Amber Weather, and this does a couple of different things. First of all, it will pull to your wallpaper a picture of whatever weather is going on outside. So I live in England, so obviously it is of course raining, and this will update as the weather changes around you. You can also go ahead and double tap, and that will open up a kind of musy effect uh, where it blurs the wallpaper and you'll get temperature you get where you are and you get a high and low as well. Next up we have Kruma Live Wallpaper and this gives you a nice kind of minimal repeating pattern effect with different colours. One of the cool things it does is when you turn your phone off and back on again, as you can see it will randomise the wallpaper and change it for you. It will also do this whenever you go into an app and come back. You can change this in the wallpaper settings. It also has this nice drift effect which I think the developer calls Breathe where the wallpaper is ever so slightly sort of pulsating in the background, it's not too much. There's some wallpapers that really do move too much in the background and it's rather distracting. This I think looks pretty nice. You also have a few settings to play with, so you can make it so that it won't automatically change. Um, when you go to your home screen, you can put that into a time interval if you want to, but I really like the fact that it changes. It keeps your phone feeling kind of fresh. You can also make it so you can shake to change the background. You can also customize the different shapes that it uses. So you can select these and it'll cycle through the ones you got selected. You can also long press to deselect all of them and long press again to select the lot. Then you've also got a bunch of different color options. You can also make your own palette at the top here. Um, I just tend to leave these on default and make it just randomize through pretty much everything. And so far I haven't had any issues with sort of the same thing coming up again or wallpapers that are sort of one color or dull, which occasionally happens with a couple of other apps. You can also turn off that breath animation. So if you don't want it gently sort of moving up and down, uh, you can do that. There is also a gyroscope effect, which means the icons just pop a little bit more on your home screen and they look sort of 3D, which is cool. There's also a battery saving mode, but I have to say this hasn't drained my battery to any sort of noticeable degree. And there's also an option to hide the launcher icon. I really like this. I can't stand live wallpapers that don't have this installed. I tend to just do it through my launcher anyway, but if you're using a stock launcher, then it's really nice to have the option. And finally on this list, we're gonna have Minima Pro. I've talked about this in a couple of other videos, but I think it fits really nicely with the kind of aesthetic that Chroma goes for. This has a parallax effect and multiple colors. This is the pro version of the app, so it has a bunch more themes than the free version. I'm just gonna set the wallpaper and show you what it looks like. So you can see it's got a parallax effect. At the moment, I've got it set, so it's quite a dramatic one. I wouldn't normally have it. Uh, quite so dramatic as this. But I'll just show you the process of changing a theme. So we're going to the theme manager and choose braid. I've always quite liked this one. Um, and we'll go back into settings. And we're going to tilt and the touch effects. And I'm going to make this a little bit less intense. Oh, it's difficult to see through the camera. There we go. And then set the wallpaper. And as you can see, that's a little bit nicer in terms of the uh, the parallax effect, but it's a very, very nice parallax effect. Um, I like the fact it's got these sort of multiple layers to it. It looks very 3D, really makes your icons pop. So that is Minima. There is a free version and also a pro version. I definitely suggest you try out the free version. And if you like it, I think it's maybe £1.50 for the pro version, which will give you a bunch of different themes and also the option to edit themes yourself. I hope you enjoyed that guys. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other wallpaper apps you think I should be using. Go ahead and hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video. Also be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already, that really does help. You can follow me on all my social media things, the links in the description. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.